All right, we got another spooky one here. Ghost Name Fred by Nathaniel Benchley. Pictures by Ben Schechter. And this is HarperCollins' I Can Read book. Look at that cover. There's like, um, it's got this thing going on up here where it's dark and it fades with this um, hatching into that darkness. There's not much else going on on the cover. It's very interesting. This is a uh, 1968 book. Uh, and uh, look at that spooky house. I wish I could draw haunted houses like that. Um, I just have a hard time with the architecture. Anyway, this book's about a kid named George and uh, he didn't have anyone to play with. Uh, kids in his neighborhood were either too old or too young. So George had to play make-believe by himself. So sometimes he was a pirate, sometimes he was a pilot. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the tub, he would be a submarine. And in uh, his bed under the blankets, he'd be a, a bear in a cave. Uh, one day he was going to be a, uh, or he was an astronaut. So he um, gets on an astronaut helmet and is playing outside and kind of gets far away from home. And uh, it gets dark. Look at that darkness. Ooh, that hatching is just spooky. Cool bridge. And it starts raining. And George is like, well, here's a house. I can use that place as a uh, shelter. Yeah, not a good idea, George. But he's going anyway. Cool house. He knocks on the door and uh, nobody answers. So he goes in. And he's like, I'm just going to wait here for a minute, you know. Wait till see if, if somebody will come by or if the rain will stop. But no matter the case, George felt like somebody was in there with him. So he decided he was going to just go upstairs. Kind of something's going on creepy downstairs, you know what I mean? Right when he gets to the top of the stairs, he hears a voice and he flips around. And the voice is like, do you mind telling me what that is on your head? And George is like, who is that? And where are you? And look at this whole page turns black. Just the two eyes. You get that George perspective. And George is like, who are you? Are you a ghost? And the ghost says, yes, but I'd rather have you call me Fred. And George is like, okay. And the ghost is like, um, can you can can you tell me what's that on your head and and take it off because I can't really hear you that well. George is like okay, and they come in here and the ghost is like oh you have a really nice voice, George. George says thanks nobody said that to me before. Fred's like, what brings you here? This is no place for a boy. George is like I got lost. What about you? Why are you here? This is just a really funny ghost doing goofy floaty tricks here. Anyway, Fred is here to guard some treasure. And George is like, where is it at? And Fred's like, I wouldn't be much of a guard if I told you where it was. But in all actuality, Fred's totally forgotten where the treasure is. George is like, yeah, let's look. You sure it's in this house? I'm pretty sure, Fred says. I saw it once. Let's go downstairs and look at over here. Now it looks like George wants to be a ghost too. And they go downstairs and there's mice down there and they're asking the mice if they know. And, and the mice are like, we're not interested. We just want cheese. Where's the cheese in this place? And Fred's like, you came to the wrong house. There's no cheese here. There was cheese here when I, uh, when I, when my mom have, had a party for her aunt. And the mice are like, darn it. And then they found a library with a bat hanging in there. And the bat's name was Charlie. And Fred's like, you know where my uh, treasure is, Charlie? Charlie's like, my dad knew. But he hasn't been seen since Halloween. So I like, sometimes they put that apostrophe in 
uh, Halloween. It's kind of interesting. If he ever comes back, I'll ask him. That's no help, said Fred. We want to find this treasure now. Come help us look. All right, said Charlie. It's time I flew anyway. If I hang there much longer, I'm going to get a nosebleed. This book's hilarious. Look at that. That's a cool picture. Reminds me of Spider-Man in the last issue of Amazing Fantasy 15. Walking into the sunset. So off they go. And they still can't find the treasure. And George is kind of like, I got to get home. And Fred's like, you better take an umbrella. And so George opens up the umbrella. And oh, oh, poor's treasure. You found it. You found it, George. And then George counted the money. And Fred let um, George keep a coin as a souvenir. He didn't want to show it to anybody because it was a special secret that he just kept in his pocket. A ghost named Fred. <laughs>